So I saw a TikTok the other day where this girl was talking about this Kelly Rowland conspiracy theory, and it caught my attention because it's one I've never heard before. There are so many celebrity conspiracy theories that I've been hearing about for years now, so I don't even bat an eye when they pop up again. But this one about Kelly Rowland dying in a car accident is a new one for me. So I thought I'd investigate it and explain it and take you guys along and hopefully set some things straight. So let's get into it. In 2008, the Daily Mail wrote an article about Kelly Rowland talking about her supposed death. The article opens up with a quote from Kelly saying, The day I was declared dead was one of the worst of my whole life. So if you're like me, this sounds like she got into some sort of accident and then was declared medically dead before being resuscitated. However, the real story is far more convoluted than that. Back in 2006, while Kelly was on a plane to Singapore, an article saying she passed away was circulating the internet and eventually made it to the news. Kelly was supposed to perform in Jakarta, Indonesia, but her appearance was canceled due to safety concerns. A terrorist organization had bombed the city, and since Kelly was on a plane at the time, she wasn't able to communicate that she was safe. For some reason, this started the rumor that while Kelly had been fleeing to safety, her car wrecked and she died in the accident. Kelly said, All I wanted to do was get off the plane and call my family, but the crew wouldn't let me. When I landed in Singapore, I called my mom straight away. She was hysterical. As soon as she heard my voice, she burst into tears. According to Kelly, several people had reached out to her mom with the news that she had died. To make things worse, Kelly hadn't been in contact with her other Destiny's Child members, Beyonce and Michelle, because her Blackberry was broken. Kelly said the experience freaked her out since she got to see firsthand how some of her family and loved ones reacted to the news of her death. A rep for Sony put the rumors to rest in a statement saying, A rumor circulating last weekend that Kelly was involved in a tragic accident in Jakarta, the capital of Indonesia, is simply not true. Kelly's scheduled concert in Jakarta was canceled following a bombing in the capital city. Kelly was in Singapore at the time and flew from there to Los Angeles. This makes it seem like Kelly hadn't even been able to make it to Jakarta, much less die in a car accident while there. To me, the oddest thing about this whole occurrence is that it wasn't the only time that people were falsely led to believe that Kelly died. Strangely enough, another death hoax surrounding Kelly resurfaced just a couple weeks ago. I'm sure this is why the TikTok started to come out too. The hoax started as the result of an RIP Kelly role in Facebook page, which gained nearly a million likes. The page posted, Our beloved singer Kelly Rowland has passed away. Please show your sympathy and condolences by commenting on and liking this page. This was first posted on Friday, October 21st. I've also seen it reported that Facebook posts were made that following Monday. One stated, On Monday, October 24th, 2022, around 11 a.m. Eastern Time, Kelly Rowland, our cherished singer, died. On February 11th, 1981, Kelly Rowland was born in Atlanta. Though missed, she won't be forgotten. Comment on and like this page to express your compassion and sympathies. It's unclear to me whether this is the same page posting on two different days or two pages posting nearly the same message days apart. The message more or less says the same thing, they just have different dates. It was also reported that both posts gained nearly a million likes, so I'm hoping two different pages or posts didn't get that many likes. I tried to find the Facebook pages to see for myself, but it seems like they've been taken down. I do want to point out that unlike the time in 2006, no major news networks reported this information. Yes, people relied on news networks for information more in 2006 than we do now. But even in 2022, major news still hits the networks, and it isn't just on a random Facebook page. Also, usually credible articles reporting someone's death don't ask for likes and comments. False obituaries circulated the internet, as an angry social media post directed those passing the information along without fact-checking. Spam and bot written articles claiming to reveal Kelly's cause of death began circulating on social media, especially on sites like Twitter. On October 25th, Kelly's team released a statement saying, don't trust what you see online, she's still alive and well. Her team again released a statement days later saying, she joins the long list of celebrities who have been victimized by this hoax. She's still alive and well, stop believing what you see on the internet. Despite Kelly and her team announcing that she was fine, and Kelly posting several recent pictures to prove this, this wasn't good enough for some people on the internet. This is because they think the Kelly who the most recent death hoax is about isn't even the real Kelly Rowland. Some internet conspiracy theorists believe that Kelly did in fact die in a car accident in Asia, and now the time was replaced by a clone or body double, who is the Kelly we know today. It's actually relatively common for people to believe this about celebrities. Other than Kelly, the most popular example is probably Avril Lavigne, who many people believe died in 2003 and was replaced by an imposter named Melissa. The story goes that in the early days of her fame, Avril was nervous to make appearances, so she used a body double named Melissa Vandella. 
However, the real Avril died, and so Melissa replaced her, and this was kept secret from the public. So-called evidence of this theory includes people claiming Avril and Melissa had different fashion styles, personalities, and facial features. Some lyrics in later Avril Lavigne songs were taken as clues that the switch actually happened. There's also a theory that Beyonce died back in like 2000 and was replaced by a clone. People also believe Miley Cyrus and Britney Spears have been replaced. Typically, this is said to be for the purposes of having total control of the artist and their image, or the label not wanting to lose money after the real artist died in some sort of accident. As far as Kelly goes, I'm not really sure what the evidence is for her being cloned or replaced by an imposter. Usually people will try to bust out some pictures or something to point out slight differences between the so-called clone and the original. People claiming that Kelly died in a 2006 car accident are missing the fact that an accident never happened. Not only do the articles not report Kelly's death, but they also don't report any accident happening that she could have died in. Unless people are trying to claim that Kelly did die in a car crash, but her people put an imposter on a plane and just never acknowledged the crash. I don't know, I'm having to do so much mental gymnastics to understand this since there's no evidence for it. Also, no shade to Kelly, but what would be the point of cloning her? Usually when these clone theories pop up, it's because the artist died at the height of their stardom and the label or other powers that be don't want to lose any money. Destiny's Child officially disbanded in 2006. Her time in the group was definitely the height of Kelly's fame. Though her solo career was doing well enough for her to tour, it didn't show the potential to rival her Destiny's Child fame or even surpass it as the case seemed and came to be with Beyonce. At the time, Kelly's only solo album was Simply Deep, which is also her worst performing album, debuting at number 12 on the Hot 200. So though she was definitely famous, there was no real indication that Kelly was going to reach solo megastardom at the time, especially to the extent where she would need to be cloned or replaced. I feel like part of the reason so many people are believing this theory or even giving it the time of day is because it was misreported. Like I've already said, there's no car accident that there's evidence of. Also, people are saying that Kelly died in this alleged accident at age 27. So then because of this, I'm sure people took the information and ran with it because it fits their 27 Club theories. Briefly put, the 27 Club is an unofficial club made up of celebrities and other famous people who died at age 27. Members include Kurt Cobain, Jimi Hendrix, and Amy Winehouse. Though the majority of the deaths of the 27 Club have been due to suicide, substance abuse, or other health issues, there are theories surrounding almost every member that they were either killed or sacrificed. Hearing Kelly allegedly died at 27 might make people more inclined to believe it simply because it fits the 27 Club theory. However, if the accident occurred in 2006 and Kelly was born in 1981, then she would have been around 25 when the alleged accident took place. I think the confusion comes from the Daily Mail article I mentioned earlier, which was written in 2008 when Kelly would have been 27. However, the article is referring to events that took place back in 2006, and the majority of the articles dispelling the death rumors are from 2006 as well. I also feel like the title of the Daily Mail article is misleading. The title reads, Kelly Rowland dead at 27, now reincarnated into a superstar. Yes, the article confirms Kelly is living since it's an interview, and I think it was meant to frame the article as talking about her solo career apart from Destiny's Child. But still, saying she's dead instead of saying something like the old Kelly Rowland is dead or DC3 Kelly Rowland is dead could definitely lead people in the wrong direction. I think overall, after doing the research, I find this theory and the hoaxes senseless and a little disrespectful. We all use the same internet. Just passing these theories along is irresponsible, especially when you haven't seen it confirmed anywhere by a credible source and aren't willing to give any evidence for it. I didn't realize this was circulating on the internet past the single TikTok that I saw, which at the time that I'm recording has almost 2 million views. Even in the comments, there's not anyone providing evidence about this theory. The comment section is just full of people agreeing, saying that clones are real, or naming other celebrities they think something similar has happened to. Even the other people making TikToks about this or reposting TikToks about this haven't given any evidence either. The posts say, oh, I found stuff online and it all makes sense if you look it up. I promise you there's nothing online unless they're on the dark web or something because I found nothing to support this theory. There's so little evidence on this, I couldn't even find a Reddit thread discussing it. And I'm not saying that clones don't exist or that Kelly Rowland can't be a clone. But no one I've seen has made any sort of case that there's reason to believe this specific theory, rather they're just appealing to people who already believe it. So then when people who believe this come across these fake articles saying that Kelly's dead, they're more likely to take them as confirmation rather than assume someone else is also misinformed or misleading people. 
A lot of the time, I can respect a theory even if I don't believe it myself, simply because there's credible evidence. And mind you, I'm not saying everything that's true in the world there's concrete evidence for, but I am saying that people perpetuating this theory are claiming there's evidence for it when there's not. I think it's great to not be narrow-minded and realize there's a lot more to situations than meets the eye, but it's also important to show discernment in what you're willing to believe and make sure you have reasons for believing in something other than a stranger on the internet said so. I understand sometimes the only evidence there is for these more abstract social media things is sharing the post where you found the information you're talking about, but that's still a lot better than nothing. It at least gives people a starting point so that they can look into things for themselves. All in all, there's no evidence for this Kelly Rowland died in a car crash theory. And all the current stuff about her dying is a hoax. So if you see it floating around on the internet, don't believe it, and more importantly, don't pass it along. But yeah, I just wanted to see what this whole conspiracy theory was about, and I was assuming some of you guys would want to know as well. It seems like just another rumor that people ran with stemming from the first situation in 2006. If you do somehow have any evidence pertaining to this theory, please be sure to share it in the comments. Otherwise, let me know your thoughts in general. Have you seen this before and did you believe it? Did you know about the 2006 situation? Because I didn't. As always, thank you all so much for watching and be sure to like and subscribe so that you can stick around. And I keep forgetting to mention that I have a Twitter now, so make sure you follow me there. It's at the bottom of the screen if you want to keep up with me outside of YouTube as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Love you guys as always. Bye bye.